매번 야야야야야 불러 널 야야야야 내 맘을 고백하려고 타이밍만 보는 나 그런 나를 안 보며 왜 그러냐고 묻네 너 때문에 Getting out of the bus while chewing on your lips, you move towards your mother to get away with the very much for your husband of yours. Oh, innocent kid! Only if you knew it was not Jungkook who kept your head on his shoulder, but you. By feeling the work of his finger down there, you gave him a tight lip. smile I mean what else could you do tell him you unholy deed in the bus out of all the other places but wait there is more you had promised him to make it up to him Jungkook came down from the bus as well and sneaked his hand around your waist and pulled you closer to him while Jungkook glared at his hand the little baby was very fond of you he yeah, is not a baby probably he is 17 Jungkook slapped Jungkook's hand away from your waist and tried to pull you towards him. But Jungkook held you and put you closer to him while sticking his tongue out at Jungwoo. Jungkook rolled his eyes at his younger brother and pulled you with him towards others while moving towards others you heard him ask you something. Jungkook scoffed and glared at his brother, who was following the both of you, and flipped his hair in front of him. For a moment, you forgot everything you had promised him earlier in the bus. So, being confused, you furrowed your eyebrows and looked at him and asked. Okay, are you sure he's the same person who was, who has this damn cute smile and doe eyes? His words were enough to make you clench your thighs. Suddenly, all the previous deeds of him in the bus came right in front of your eyes. You punched him lightly in his stomach, which made him laugh, and he pulled you even closer, pecking the top of your head multiple times. He pecked your cheeks again, which made you chuckle. When you looked ahead of yourself and found your family members and friends giggling, looking at the both of you. You and Jungkook giggled and sat on the mat they had spread side by side. You smacked your brother's head and said. You heard multiple gagging sounds behind you from your friends and your brother, but Jungkook just laughed, and you heard a "that's my girl" from him. Now it was time for Jungwoo to receive a smack from Jungkook, and he instantly pouted while placing his head on your lap. You caressed his head while smiling at his baby shakes. This time, all you heard was a lots of "ohs," which made Jungkook pout as well. You got up too to help your mothers as they were literally working hard since the morning for this little weekend trip of your family. Placing some fruits and light food in front of everyone, you sat beside Jungkook, who held one of your hand, placing it on his thighs, and you smiled at him. You guys laughed at his excitement, but among these laughs. What you did not fail to notice was a little smirk on Jungkook's lips. He pecked your hand and you looked at him. You whisper yelled at him, but all he did was to widen his smirk. You already knew what was going in his devilish mind. Okay, reasonable enough. 
But why was all this hustle going on? Why was it supposed to be done here itself? Wait, now you remember. It was one who teased the boy earlier at home. Right, isn't this what people call digging one's own grave? Oh, it is exactly what it is. 